Hi everyone, um, so I'm at McGill University uh, here in Montreal. So I have my friend here. I know most of you have seen you know, us doing a video together. Uh, that was on Zoom, but you know, I had the opportunity of going to his school, McGill University. So um, it's been pretty amazing just you know, toying around and seeing you know, this summer time. So people moving around and then you know, just chilling. So he know a lot about McGill, so he should be in the best position to tell us, you know, much more about McGill. Yeah. So yeah. what, um, what, what, which program are you into now, and how far are you in the program? Yeah. So um, I'm currently in a, uh, I'm currently a PhD, PhD candidate uh, studying experimental medicine. Oh, nice. And how yeah. far are, are you now? Yeah. So I'm in my second year. Uh, we start my third year in September. You know, sometimes there is this stereotype of you know people thinking about PhD. It's very difficult. Yeah. So, what are your, you know, from your experience, you know, coming to McGill, what have yeah. been your, you know, core experiences that you think maybe, maybe new PhD people aspiring to start their PhD, we kind of, you know, kind of think put it to consideration and think yeah. about. Yeah. Um, well. Yeah. Whatever. Um, Whatever thing you've heard about PhD, it's, it's valid. Like it's it's challenging. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's yeah, it tests your patience. Um, but in my opinion, it's worth it. Um, the skills that you acquire at the end of your fourth to five years, it's you know, money can buy it. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, if it's something like you're really interested in, go for it. Yeah, and one of the things I tell people: don't be so worried about your topic. Like. When you finish your PhD, there is like maybe 10% chance that you're going to be working in that, you know, if you work on bacteria, whatever, you know, so there is maybe like 10% chance that yeah. you are, except maybe if you go into like, even core research, what I even noticed that people that do PhD, by the time they go for postdoc, one or two postdoc, yeah. you know, their interests kind of start shifting yeah. and then you get new experiences, right? Yeah. So, but it's... What I advise people um, is kind of a little bit good to have at least a little bit of, don't just go into a full new area for a mm -hmm. PhD. For example, I'm doing, you know, nutrition and the area is, you're going to learn, but the learning is going to take some time, right? Yeah. Yeah. So have a little bit of, you know, core, you know, you know, core experiences from your masters and mm -hmm. then you know, just kind of choose something like that. But you might, you, 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 if you're looking for a place where you're like an expert, right? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, in my master's was in, you know, nutrition and let's say cancer. And then with PhD, it might be nutrition and diabetes, right? Yeah. Just a little bit of difference. But that's one of the very nice skills that I see with PhD students, that ability mm -hmm. to really learn, you know, and adapt, right? Yeah. And adapt. Yeah. Okay, true. Then how do you want to talk about your lab? How big is your lab and how do you adapt, you know, meeting like students from like different, how diverse is your group? Um, my group is very diverse. Okay, well, we have about 10 um, students and uh, okay. I think uh, two postdocs. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, we are from like different parts of the world. Some from mm -hmm. China, from France. It's amazing, um, right? I'm from Ghana. That's, that's. Yeah, so like we're from like all over the world. Yeah, I think that was one of the beautiful things I like about, you know, um, doing PhD in like very, a little bit of a bigger city. Like yeah. my, you know, University of Abeda, there are people from, you know, China, people from India, mm -hmm. you know, people from Brazil. So you, uh, you cannot be in a room and they're like, People from seven different countries, yeah, right? Yeah, so, true. so that's amazing, right? So, yeah. if you're, you're thinking about PhD, you know, it's worth it. You know, we used to think that, you know, based on where we're coming from, that if you do a PhD, you must become a professor, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> but with here with PhD, there are like multiple things you can yeah, do. Yeah, the with options PhD. are enormous. Enormous, right? You can't even exhaust, right? Mm -hmm. So and industry they are looking for you right you know yeah. with phd so um so if you're thinking about it you know it's a good opportunity it's a good experience and then you know take your time you know uh, and be a little bit strategic in my these top schools they are competitive you know mm -hmm. so mcgill university of british columbia toronto you have a better they are quite competitive right so just kind of you know look at your grades you know and 
you know before deciding right and mm -hmm. then try to you know if the, your depart your program require getting a supervisor before you apply you know just take the time to you know find a professor in that area mm -hmm. and then reach out right that's the main thing just reach out you know send an email and if you if you're kind of lucky and they have funding available that time you know mm -hmm. That might be advantageous to you. Yeah. Okay, I think it's time to go. You know, I have to go back to uh, Ed meeting today. So what I thought is wise to just do a quick video. And Ima actually thawed me around downtown. So I'm just actually going to show you guys around. You know, so it's sort of very, you know, the, the, the university is at the heart of downtown. So it's such a beautiful, you know, university. So if you are thinking about a university that is so big, you know, diverse and with lots of students from like different countries of the world i think mcgill is a good option and you don't need to be a friend if i don't even need to have french skills right for most of their programs like english right yeah. yeah yeah so you should be fine with with mcgill but it's very competitive right so you know take your time and start putting your application together on time all right um, we'll see you all next week um, i'm signing off now have a wonderful day